Are we mad? It's minus three degrees and I'm heading out for a spot of winter grayling fishing on the River Wye with our local guide and all-round good guy Frank Williams. My name's Frank Williams and I'm a full-time professional fly fishing guide and fly fishing instructor on the Wye and Usk River systems in South Wales. Uh, we're on the banks of the River Wye today and hopefully we're going to catch some grayling. Yeah, it's an absolutely beautiful location, right up in the hills and as you can see, it's a nice big river and uh, in the frost like this, it's really, really beautiful in the trees and stuff um, and there's plenty of fish in the river, hopefully we'll catch some today. There's the trout in the season, which is from spring through to autumn, salmon, which runs on the same season uh, and grayling, which runs from June till March and also further down the river, there are coarse fish, chub, barbel, pike. So there's, there's lots of fishing for everybody here. Well, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be fishing a technique called Czech Nymph, which was developed by the Czechoslovakian anglers. Um, and when they, when they first brought it over to this country, it was during the World Championships, and they absolutely wiped the floor with all their competitors. And essentially what you're doing is you're fishing very, very heavy flies, very, very close to the angler. So we use a 10 foot fly rod, and we put the flies just upstream, and then allow them to track back down. But the flies sink very, very close to the bottom. Now grayling have a downturned mouth. So although they do rise for dry flies, they actually feed on the bottom much more. So as a method, it's ideally suited for the feeding uh, type of the fish that we're targeting today. Okay, so we've come down onto the river now, onto the river bank, and I'm just gonna explain a little bit about how we're gonna fish today. As I explained before, the method we're going to be using is check nymphing, um, which is essentially two heavy flies about 50 cent centimetres apart on a long leader. And because grayling are not as spooky and are much more comfortable in our presence, we can fish much closer. So I'm using a 10 foot rod and I'm essentially going to fish a 60 degree arc out on the river in front of me. And I'm going to cast my flies upstream and then follow the river at its own speed downstream with my rod tip keeping this leader section just slightly taut and I'm going to watch the coloured section of nylon which is about 8 to 10 inches of nylon just above the surface of the water for any ticks or movements. Once the flies have come all the way downstream of me I'm going to lift them up and recast them onto a slightly different line and then repeat the process and this allows me to search a big area of water quite quickly looking for fish. During the winter the grayling can shoal up a little bit so it can be difficult to find a shoal of fish earlier in the autumn when they're spread out amongst the river but hopefully we should catch some fish today. For me, when I'm teaching somebody fly fishing we might concentrate on one specific skill. They might want to learn to fish dry flies or they might want to learn some of the European wind styles such as checking in fin or fishing with a French leader. Whereas guiding would be more just taking people to an appropriate location to catch fish in the conditions and showing them the skills that are going to work on that day. The Wyanus Foundation are a, um, a habitat charity and their work over the last 10 years or so has been to restore the habitat for salmon and trout and the other river fish and as part of their remit they also market the fishing for the owners. So it makes it nice and easy for travelling anglers to book some fishing and come fishing in this beautiful part of the world for the day. The first consideration is make sure you've got your eyes protected, make sure you're wearing a pair of glasses and if the glasses are polarised that'll help with your fishing as well because it'll take the glare off the water, help you be able to see fish moving around and also help you see what's on the bottom, big rocks, beds of weed, that sort of thing so you don't trip over and end up taking a, a swim downstream. And while I'm on that, whenever you're out fishing on the river, especially if you're out by yourself, 
it's really a good idea to make sure somebody knows where you're going, what sort of area you're fishing in, and more importantly, what time that you'll be home, so that if you don't turn up unexpected, they can uh, have an idea that maybe you've taken a bit of a swim or anything like that. Just good common sense. Uh, that was an untucked blood knot. My fingers are a bit cold, it's a bit fiddly to tuck them when your fingers are cold. Just seven racks. You had a couple of knocks and, and you got that grayling there. Bit of a tough day, has it been? Yeah, it's been very tough. The temperature's got very, very cold now and grayling, when in cold conditions, they tend to shoal up and you can actually find quite a lot of fish in one area in, and sometimes in quite a small area. So the art of it is to keep moving, keep fishing quite quickly until you find fish and then slow down, cover that area really well. Once you stop catching fish, you move on and keep start searching again and again and again. If you find fish, you can have a great day. If not, you can just have a beautiful day out on the banks of the Riverway. Uh, well, my suggestion is that we put the camera down now and uh, go and have a fish without being lumbered with it. Yep, that sounds great. Can we get a cup of tea and warm up first, please? Of course we can. Let's go. The River Wye and us provide some fantastic fishing. So to book a beat or find out more about these and other local rivers, why not visit the Wye and Usk Foundation's website? And if you'd like to brush up on your fly fishing technique, or fishing these rivers and require guiding services, why not get in touch with our friend Frank Williams at www.frankwilliamsflyfishing.co.uk Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon at wildernesstv.com.